Good afternoon, YouTube. So today I am out here in the Umami Garden. Um, these are my my balsam uh, flowers that the frost got to the other day. So as you can see, they are pitiful. And so today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, get this bed ready for some elephant garlic that I'm going to grow. So let me show you what I'm using. All right, so I got me some organic garden soil here. Uh, some earthworm castings. Um, everything I use here is, is Omri uh, listed, so it's all organic. Um, I'm not sure about this right here. This is my first time using it, but it's an 825. So I think it'll be really good for the garlic at the beginning stages. And then later on, I'll switch to something with a lower first number and a higher second and third number here. Um, you know, if, if you're familiar with MPK, you should know, you know, what those are. I will also... Can you see that? Yep. Good old peat moss. So what I basically do is I clear the bed out with the old stuff, throw the peat moss in there on the next, on the first layer. And then the top layer will be the garden soil. And then I'll work in the, uh, the amendments there. Okay. <laughs> cleared out uh it's all cleared out mostly all of the debris i don't try to get every little thing out of it because it'll it'll die down there and decompose and uh be organic matter in the bed but i wanted to stop and show you something here if you hope y'all can hear me but if you look see how far down that is in there this bed at the beginning of last year was all the way well probably about two inches from the from the top here so this bed has sank down pretty far so it needed some uh some amendments uh i mean some uh some more garden soil in it anyway um also normally my bed won't sink down that much but this bed is a hugel culture bed so i got a bunch of like you know stumps and stuff down in here uh, that was probably too big anyway but anyway it's down in here and uh i got a bunch of stuff like that all throughout the bed in the bottom and um it's just breaking down and uh there's, there's another one i just hit right there it's breaking down and decomposing and uh becoming nice organic matter for this for this bed there's a chunk right there that was probably you know 10 times bigger than that at the beginning of the year so um all that stuff will just stay down in there let me see if i can bury this Ugh. i mean it's nice it's got it's got real nice soil down in there i mean that's that's good stuff i'll just bury that on down in there a little bit more and then with the uh with the peat moss we'll go next and i'll bury it even more with that spread that out real good then the garden soil, and then we'll stop to amend. All right, figured I'd get you in here a little bit closer to see how I do the uh, amendments. Um, simple, not, you know, not nothing special, but uh, I put down my, my, earthworm castings this one bag will cover this whole uh four by eight bed right here and same with with the organic fertilizer um it will cover a four by eight uh bed so like that because of the size it's perfect for 
the size beds that I have. I always take that into consideration when I'm buying it so that I don't have to measure it out and whatnot. Um, and I just shake it, shake it around, get it, get it down in there good, you know. All right, that's that. And then the, uh, the harvest, uh, Bonnie plants harvest, uh, select raised bed plant food. I did not get it because it said raised bed plant food. I don't care about that. Um, I just cared about the 825. Um, that's important to me. Obviously that is, uh, organic, um, is, uh, important to me. I'm doing elephant garlic in here. I've never grown elephant garlic before, so. We'll see how it turns out. Now, this right here, if you can see that, so it's big chunks, right? Uh, I just spread it out kind of evenly. Now the thing about this is, it's gonna take this a little while, with any organic fertilizer, it takes it a while to break down into the soil. So what I'll do is, uh, I, I won't plant the elephant garlic for another couple of weeks or so to give this an opportunity to break down. Uh, when I get done with it here, I will uh, put down, I'll, I'll water it in real good. Well, I, actually, after I get finished with this, I'm gonna mix it in real good and then, and then I'll water it in real good. And then it'll get regular watering when my garden gets watered, which is every other day until I go to plant. All right, and um, I like to use my rake here. I use the tine side to kind of mix it up there a little bit, get a little bit of that, um, that peak here too mix it in there real good <clears throat> just like that and then take the back side and I go ahead and flatten it flatten it out I love this rake. This is like one of the most versatile tools that you can have in the garden. At least I believe so. You can do a lot with it. If I had only one tool to have, it would be this rake right here. I can weed with it. I can do beds like that with it. I can make in-ground beds with it. So. I love this rake. All right, everybody. Job is done. Uh, I I probably, because I didn't know that it was this low, I may come back and add another three bags of the organic garden soil just to give it a little more height on the side of the beds here. Um, but other than that, she's done. She's ready. I'll come in here and it's, oh yeah. It's ready to plant some garlic in there. So uh, I'll probably bring you back when I go to plant the garlic. I've never planted garlic before, so it'll be a journey and uh, we'll go on the journey together. All right, so I'm out of here. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I appreciate you watching. And this is Dan from Salty Dog Homestead and we're out. <laughs>